Jason Faulkner. I woke up this morning at 5. It's 28 degrees outside, probably a little colder. But I woke up and I instantly knew, you know, it's like when you wake up and you realize you're not going to go back to sleep. You've had enough rest. But you're just sort of trapped in an in-between situation to where, you know, you're waiting for the warm warmness of the next day to start working. You're not tired to go back to sleep. So you just sit here and think. So I was instantly like, all right, let's do some new stuff. So I tried to run a new ad to draw some uh, interest in my business aspects. And I ran an ad on Craigslist. It was instantly deleted. I wasted like 10 minutes wording all sorts of stuff and drawing interest to my ad and what I'm doing and a little insight and what I'm willing to do. Instantly delete it, and it dawned on me, Craigslist isn't a truly interactive site. It is one of these Orwellian constructs that they built and mimicked what it was supposed to be. It's really more like an etched site where it's laid down to do what it does, and there is no true interaction with it. There is nothing comparable to it also. Don't say Facebook. That place is Orwellianville. That's too weird of a site for me to interact with. I don't like it. And it's so staged and gaffed itself. You know, there's no true free enterprise there. There is no mass interaction of the public there. It's just a ardent another group of, of conditioned block chain block associations funded and put there by the monsters of government and that's it you know i can tell i don't want to use it so i was thinking boy would i love to find another alternative to craigslist in that manner and there's nothing that exists don't say any of the old websites that they mimic craigslist with because those are even worse than craigslist there is no true free enterprise in America, but there is business, I'm assuming, and financiers and successful people and innovators and interesting people that that I'm supposedly believing are attuned to people like me who struggle and innovate and pioneer myself. I'm doing a lot of interesting stuff. I have 80,000 viewers on YouTube. Even though I have a gut feeling a lot of that is just the illustrious mimicry of a functional society, which I doubt we have. Not on a reality level, you know. It's just a lot of smoke and mirrors and manipulations by people in power. And people conditioned to do whatever they do. So what? Anyway, I'm making my products and all this in my home out of my large shop. And I'm hoping to garner interest and finance and success. So I'm making another video just to throw out of the floor and my feet. And what am I going to show you around my shoddy little tra trailer? I don't think so. You know whatever might as well look at that it's the words and communication that i'm interested in with this video anyway yesterday i made some success in my wire straightener i was working on the holder late in the day and it just got so cold quick that i recognized and it was getting dark enough that it was time for me to go in and do my my stuff that I can occupy my time in the evening with while it's severely cold outside. So I came in, watched some movies, cooked and bagged a bunch of beans. I made a huge pot of beans just so I could freeze a bunch of them. So when I fry hamburger, I can conveniently dump a frozen bag of beans in with it and recook it all and make like a, like a Taco Bellish base, you know, I fried the bacon, put it with the beans. I ate a big bowl of cornbread and beans yesterday, too. And I can't do that too much. I mean, that, you know, I've been eating a lot of beans and cornbread. So 
But my goal was to freeze a bunch of beans that I could add with the hamburger to make like that type of food base, you know, uh, refry it with a hamburger, make like a, you know, something you put salsa with and tomatoes and cheese. So I did that. I made more than I normally do because the last time I did it a week ago, I made half a pot of beans and it was used up amazingly fast. So yesterday I made a full pot of beans and uh, had a bacon sandwich, a small bacon sandwich, which was great with mustard. And I froze my beans last night in <laughs> sandwich bags, which works great, you know. You know, just because they don't tell you you can do something doesn't mean you can't do it and it doesn't work out. Your regular generic Ziploc sh sandwich bags work great for freezing stuff. Slices of cornbread, liquid beans, you know, as long as you freeze it with it standing upright somewhat, it's not going to leak out if you seal it right. So, works great and when you're ready to use it. Just throw it in a plastic bowl of warm water and that that melts enough around the edges of it so you can plop it out of the bag into a pot or a pan and uh, do your thing with it. And I anyway, back to my ad, I ran this very elaborate ad looking for business interest under business and a wire straightener and financing and whatever, even trying to trade storage space on my property. Because I have paved frontage in a, a lot of area that someone could store their stuff on and trade for some of what I might need. But the ad was instantly deleted. I'm just being creative and thinking about my success. But uh, maybe later I'll make a video of the ad that I put. And I think it was unfairly blindly deleted because, you know, people are simpletons. And institutions and oligarchs are complex, vast, and merciless. You know? And I'm not going to write any complaint letters to anyone because everybody's pretty much just automated anyway. Even the, the government, the legal system, it's all hokey. It's all hokey, and you got to stumble your way through life trying to figure out which little things to trigger that does, that does positive for you. And those were the most hidden, elaborately schemed aspects. The things they don't want you to find in life, which is success, security, and financial stability. <clears throat> you, you know, if you have those things, you're just one more problem to these tyrants. And they don't want that. They want to run carefree through life, being tyrannical and never answering for what they do. So... You know, you avoid those when you can, and I I just stay busy. I work a lot, sun up to sundown most days. You know, like my dad's dad, he used to, or my dad's dad's dad, yeah, his, my dad's grandpa, he would always talk about him. He was from East Tennessee, too. He said, you know, the guy used to work sun up to sundown and provide for his family. So now that I've lost my dad, that's all I do. I work. That's fine. I'll play if I ever get successfully secure, you know, financially. You know, I got my own little aspirations and and wants, you know, uh, fishing, go to the Florida Keys every winter like a snowbird would and, and go fishing. And then come back up here in the summer and, you know, do what I do here. But I've got a lot of good products, so I'm going to stick behind it, you know. I've got fortitude. I know I have viable success already created. I just have to prosper with it. And it's a struggle. you got a society full of people that have been conditioned to push against you to prohibit you from succeeding. In so many ways, they'll out and outright lie straight to your face, you know, and try to hold a straight face you got to see through all that and realize what they are 
and what the situation in life is and what you can do in life. I'm very smart and talented and successful. I'm doing good things for myself. So there's my video and another day early morning waiting for it to warm up so I can go out and finish some of my projects. Y'all have a good day, and I hope you found this somewhat interesting and entertaining. If you have any thoughts on any of this that I've spoken of, feel free to comment. Thank you, Jason Faulkner. Have a good day.